good evening everyone uh, so today uh, we will be starting with a series of uh, tutorials on molecular dynamics uh, around a uh, few weeks back i think it's almost uh, two months i posted this uh, uh, on uh, twitter as well as in linkedin talking about uh, a series of calculations being carried out for calculating binding free energy between protein and ligand in order to calculate wherever we are much more enthusiastic to calculate and feel a little bit of reluctant of hardware infrastructure capabilities understanding of it uh, so uh, that's where i'm i thought to use namd or somewhere we call it as namd uh, because uh, NAMDs uh, can be used in uh, Windows, Linux and Mac when compared with other molecular dynamics engines. Similarly, uh, uh, I have been uh, also uh, uh, told uh, everyone that the scripts are getting ready. It's almost done and uh, uh, today I'll be starting with the session. And I'm planning for five... Uh, uh, sessions uh, the five sessions today's session is more of introductory on understanding about uh, the uh, downloading how to download the software how to install how to configure what to consider uh, and a little bit of housekeeping on understanding uh, what are the process taken care where you could find the tutorials all those things will be uh, discussed today but there will be following four different sessions there will be much more going into the project on understanding how to generate topology files, defining force fields, and then how to solvate them, and also how to generate uh, these many calculation input files using certain plugins within VMD. So uh, this was I, I posted again, uh, it's again almost more than a month. Um, where we, I was able to calculate uh, the uh, standard binding free energy uh, in kcal per mole uh, after the performing series of calculations. Uh, fortunate or unfortunate, uh, you have to run 100 to 200 or even 50 nanoseconds. So ensuring that uh, you have at least that amount of uh, computing power with you or otherwise you have to wait for longer period for all these calculations to get over. So keeping all these things in mind, uh, in order to, as I told you already, we will be using VMD and NAMD. So uh, specifically, uh, we have to go to this website from University of Illinois, uh, where theoretical and computational biophysics group, uh, that is where uh, they are being developing NAMD and VMD and uh, VMD's website is this one uh, keep in mind if you wanted to access um, uh, the downloads and binaries and all you have to register so registration is free but ensure that you have to register otherwise you cannot download it so uh, VMD uh, it's called visual molecular dynamics and it says so because a lot of uh, post-processing analysis and pre-processing, especially for NAMD, even for Gromax also, we have certain plugins within VMD. The only uh, difficulty I faced was uh, regarding the atom selection because you have to type and uh, define what kind of atom you want to select and represent or you want to save. So that is the only difficulty I found, but otherwise it's seamlessly very good. And if you have graphics card, much more rendering is possible. And keep in mind, whoever uses Mac OS to install the latest version, because the old versions does not support 10.14 uh, Catalina Mac uh, versions. But otherwise Linux, Windows, all uh, they support 64 bit, including they support uh, Nvidia graphics card, including CUDA and many more so uh, you can click on this download so it will go to all version so keep in mind I have already uh, signed in and I have saved my cookies so that you can see here change email or password 
so I'll be able to download. So don't get confused here. There is something called latest alpha and the 2016 platforms. First, I would recommend you to go for uh, all these versions that is 1.9.3. But uh, whoever is working on Catalina or latest libraries, if something is uh, compatibility issues, you can test with this alpha versions. Otherwise, please stay with 1.9.3 versions. So uh, yeah, so coming to Windows, you have this Windows Open GL. So whoever has a NVIDIA card with the CUDA enabled cores, you can go for this. Otherwise, please ensure that you use Windows Open GL and that is a 32 bit. Now uh, you have Windows uh, uh, 32 bit latest version also is available and others we have uh, 64 bits for Mac as well as for Linux. And for Linux, uh, even different architectures are supported. Mostly we look at 64 bit. So you can download this one where it supports Ubuntu, RHEL and all of them. So you're absolutely fine with which kind of Linux distro you are going to use. If someone is using Fee, that is Xeon Fee, uh, you can use a uh, Fi, whatever you call it. So uh, you can use this specific uh, binaries for that. Otherwise, you have GPU codes also available. I have run GPU on uh, NVIDIA RTX uh, 2060 graphics card. It scales up very nicely. And uh, ensure that, um, yeah, because in Gromax, you might be using threading, but in uh, NAMD, uh, you can use logical cores as well as threads, but I prefer logical cores, which will have much more performance when compared to the threads in your CPU cores. Okay, and if you still wanted to go for older versions, there are all the older versions are also available. Great. Now, moving forward, uh, this is how we call it as uh, 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 molecular representations in uh, VMD. So this is what I was telling you, you, you have to be very uh, careful uh, in defining these representations. All this can be generated within VMD. But as I said, uh, you have to know what code to be given, how it to be written. Uh, those things are very, very important. So some are called as cartoons, some are called as new cartoons. So, uh, and yeah, this is what the representation. So lines, bonds, cartoons, Van der Waals, CPK, and it goes on. And similarly, coloring styles, you have to choose the name. This is exactly what I was telling you. Name, res name, residue name, residue type, res ID, mass, charge, position, index. So you need to know what you have to choose. So, so before loading a PDB or any um, uh, structures into VMD, you have to know what is the index or the type that is being used. And also you can select transparency and materials, a uh, display and rendering styles, even you can label it. So today I'll be uh, showcasing mostly about the representations and the scenes. And a little bit more about uh, the manual, uh, you can search for molecular drawing methods in uh, VMD where uh, you will be able to understand what kind of uh, text or the name you have to use. That means the keywords and functions. So if you go to selection method, uh, definition of keywords, uh, you will be able to see these are the keywords that you have to use. For example, uh, let me tell, uh, for example, if you want to use a chain, so I, I want to choose uh, the chain A. So you can say chain space capital A. So the chain will be uh, selected. So he, like, like your chain. And if you say that uh, uh, you wanted to select, uh, let's say, um, I know uh, today I'm going to take one STP PDB where my uh, co-crystal ligand rest name is BTN, that is biotin, BTN. So if I give rest name BTN, it will get selected or if I give a residue ID as a number, it will select that specific ID or sec name, the segment name that also or hetero atom. So you have to have a little bit understanding of these keywords in order to select the atoms or uh, splitting them or doing the representations. And uh, now uh, coming towards uh, some of the scripts. So as I told you earlier, uh, sorry, this is plugins actually. As I told you earlier, uh, VMD has a lot of plugins. Already these plugins are installed under extensions. 
but still uh, some of them are being updated so still you can find them here for example uh, if you wanted to calculate nmd energy or nmd plot these are already available so when you download the latest one all these plugins will be most of them will be available but some are not available for example uh, bfe estimator which i am going to talk about today binding free energy estimator this is from uh, literature so uh, in order to download the links and tutorials i have given in the description of this video so you will understand uh, what are the uh, plugins that you have to download especially for protein ligand uh, molecular dynamic simulation and some of the others like quick md uh, auto imd that is uh, interactive molecular dynamic simulation all these are already available within the uh, vmd so plugins you can bring in and there are other ex uh, external hosted plugins also so if you wish that you want to specifically work on spec uh, specific plugins of course you can load them uh, automatically and there is a procedure to a uh, installation so in the description if you go to the bfee paper uh, the supporting information there are instructions how to install it i'm not going in detail because it takes again more time and next is vmd scripts this is uh, we are also going to use in this uh, uh, particular tutorial series series on this uh, script library for example if you uh, uh, ultimately we don't simulate the complex as we get from after docking like protein and ligand together so what we do is we separate them and uh, then uh, we generate the topologies uh, and also correct all the necessary things and we type with the force fields and then we merge them so in order to merge the psf file and the coordinates that is the pdb files we use certain scripts like merge scripts and all so these are uh, with the dot tcl uh, this is the extension uh, for this so there are scripts with python as well as with tcl most of the scripts are in TCL and recently uh, there are a few uh, Python uh, scripts also available. So these scripts can be used for structure building, uh, merging, modifications, then analysis scripts, uh, then trajectory processing scripts, file conversion. For example, if you want to convert the Gromax topology files to Charmum PSF, you can do that. Or if you wanted to create a Charmum CRD file, so NMD is mostly favorable with charm and force fields, right? So, um, so that, that's where, so if you already have a Gromax topology with you, you can easily convert it to charm and PS5 using the script. I'll, I'll show you how to run these scripts uh, in the command line. And also BioCore, it's there like a, a, a online portal where uh, they're a community and many other uh, user defined uh, scripts also there. As basically taking 2d graph 3d graph and many more like a pbz box defining so drawing the periodic simulation box uh, these can be uh, done including movie making scripts uh, web-based scripts and many more so if you are if you're good at scripting you uh, tcl scripting you can submit your own scripts too and now coming to nmd so uh, that is a scalable molecular dynamics uh, where they have got a lot of awards even during this year also and a lot of computing and they are also compatible with amber charm M, explore uh, uh, and also uh, vmd does is goes very well with nmd for pre-processing and post-processing the data including carrying out uh, the particular uh, molecular dynamics so uh, it's seamlessly super easy uh, to prepare the files uh, like a tri um, even analyzing the trajectories, generating plot using uh, VMD along with NAMD. So here also uh, you have to get registered. So only one registration is required for both NAMD as well as VMD. So coming here, uh, this is what uh, I was telling you when you wanted to download, uh, you have on the left hand side download binaries. On your right hand side, you have all the uh, tutorials and releases and all. Uh, and even you have an uh, interface to Mopac and Orca if you are doing a QMMM like hybrid uh, QMMM if you wanted to do so NMD will be uh, the MM part and for QM you can do Mopac or Orca right so as you are aware all of them are freely available for academics and non-profit sorry prof, uh, yeah, non-profit organizations 
so there are plenty of training and uh, handbooks uh, workshops also available so you can uh, go through them and uh, yeah coming to the NAMD uh, so make sure that you choose the right one so if you have a SMP that means a single machine with multiple core or you have a CUDA um, a GPU then you can download this multi core CUDA single core and then uh, if you think about uh, a stable version you have to go with these versions that is 2.14 where you can go for if you are using Linux it's a multi core but if you are using uh, GPU based calculation if you want to do you have to use multi core CUDA and Mac OS and then you have Windows also you have both uh, CUDA as well as uh, normal but all are 64 bit so uh, previous old versions you will be able to find 32 bit yeah as you can see here uh, 2.9 version you have the 32 bit version of uh, uh, NAMD but uh, if you are still using them uh, but uh, mostly uh, I recommend 64 for better scaling and um, better load balancing about the memory and uh, number of CPUs. Now finally coming to tutorials there are plenty of tutorials available uh, don't jump into the advanced one start with the very basic one especially on VMD because VMD uh, is uh, the main uh, what to say pillar for making NAMD to run so you need to know VMD properly uh, before running any molecular dynamics and uh, let me be very honest here uh, you should have a lot of patience while going through NAMD tutorial because you have to read a lot a lot of physics is being discussed a lot of mathematics equations being discussed so that is what I heard from many of the students that um, that uh, to NMD tutorials are a bit hard yes of course it is it is not like to do list like do this do that no nothing like that they're just making you understand the science and you have to do it of course all the supporting files are here anyway like individual files and you can access the PDF file but yeah this is how we have to learn we have to learn the science behind it and then do it rather than clicking or executing the buttons so uh, that that's where I, I also have bit a little bit difficulty in understanding them I'll try my best so uh, there are many advanced uh, um, um, tutorials too of course uh, we need not to do everything and uh, and that's where we have to be very careful uh, be very specific on what we what you really wanted to start with and go with that don't overdo and mess up things totally okay now uh, this is uh, the when you click on the individual files or the tutorials you will be able to find uh, files like this so when you go to tutorial file I want to just explain some of the files how it looks like so PDB anyway how you download it TCL files are those files which are called a script and DCD is the output files anyway right now let me go to some other files uh, yeah these are these are again tutorials um, let me check uh, yeah uh, I have had another file anyway I, I yeah PSF files are the topology file for NAMD I was looking for a particular configuration file anyway I, I'll show you uh, in, when I'm running the calculation now finally this is another uh, tutorial which is on interactive molecular dynamic simulation uh, which goes along with uh, NAMD and VMD a lot of papers has also been referred here so spend a lot of time uh, going through them as I told you uh, NAMD is more favorable to CharmM so in order if you think that you don't have all the latest CharmM uh, force fields with you and if you don't know for which uh, biomolecular you have to use which uh, topology or which parameters of force field you can go to this website called CharmM GUI that is GUI uh, even we use this uh, for generating the topologies for ligands right for protein ligand we generate for ligand we ge use this particular website uh, to generate the, uh, the parameterizations so all this uh, latest ones that is the 36 is the latest version for CharmM all the force fields are available here so here this list will give you an understanding about for which biomolecule uh, which uh, force field has to be used and this is the famous uh, 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 website because I have I know that when you're using Gromax as well as on uh, 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 that's where you have to uh, look at uh, for NMD also so you can go to a uh, macro uh, lab homepage there also you have charm and force field files you can download them directly so this is the latest one July 2020 
uh, with the top power files and if you want to go further down uh, charmum for gromax also is available so and understand the force field formats for nmd or charmum uh, sorry uh, yeah charmum even it's an engine for md uh, gromax or any others they are all different so you have to match it accordingly right and Anton is a specific architecture. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we are all not using it. Uh, so that is very high, uh, high level computing power. Anyway, so these are all about the force fields. And finally, this is what I was telling you that uh, even uh, this was I have shown in my picture when I posted it on the social media uh, that you will be able to predict the free binding energy. And let me take you through a, a small exercise. Uh, we are not doing any molecular dynamics today no output analysis no preparation that will all will be in the next session so today uh, i am selecting this pdb that is a structural origin of high affinity biotin binding uh, streptavidin so this is a protein that i am uh, going to choose so quickly i am uh, going to uh, uh, the command line yes so coming to command line, as I told you, NAMD, you have to run it in command line. But as I said, it's uh, super easy. So let's uh, see how this command is being taken. So don't see this with lengthy thing, uh, lengthy uh, uh, sentences. Don't worry about it. I, I just took my path of where I have installed my NAMD. There is nothing like installation for NAMD. Basically, uh, you are extracting the downloaded file that is called installation. So there will be a a file called NAMD2 uh, that is the file that you're using going to use for uh, running it and plus P4 that means how many processor you have to use or CPU cores you have to use I have about eight of them so I can give two or four or even one I don't recommend to give eight now if you have i5 uh, old generation i5 uh, then it probably will be two or four please check it out before giving the numbers otherwise you will get error and finally you have something called as uh, uh, some file name with the dot conf or dot named it could be dot conf or dot named both are fine uh, so these are called the configuration file for named for example in gromax you have something called a, uh, mdp file so similarly here it's called conf or uh, named file so let me show you what is the content of it uh, I'll show page by page. So this, uh, there are plenty of uh, samples are available in the tutorial. So you don't think, oh, I have to write coding and nothing required. Just understanding is required. So here we are just defining the what is my structure. That is my topology. Dot PSF again generated using VMD. No scripting. Nothing. Uh, coordinates yeah whatever uh, after typing uh, the force field whatever coordinates that is a pdb file generated you're setting the temperature what should be your output name and then you're defining what is your uh, force field and you have to define the parameter file name it's a simple one right so nothing uh, too much uh, to define and then you are giving the force field parameter right cutoff values then integrator parameters like how many time step here I have given two femtoseconds and the steps I have given like 10 steps per uh, cycle and then a Langevin uh, damping uh, parameters then electrostatic force free force evaluation I am gen again giving what is output name I already given the output name earlier and I am asking it to run for uh, uh, 500 steps at 1 picosecond, picoseconds and output energy is at 100 and then I'm looking at spherical boundary conditions. Of course, I can go for periodic boundary conditions too. And I'm doing a minimization with 100 step and I'm asking it to run all the main MD on 2500 steps. So this is the whole uh, script actually. So there are plenty of different variants of script. When you go through tutorials, you will be able to understand them. Okay, so this is what we just overlooked it. Now, uh, let me clear this to go to the top so now when you give the command if I just give this command it will be running as a scrolling and it will be running an AMD but literally we need the output file because these output file we can use it for analyzing uh, when it is running we want to analyze how is the change in temperature how is the change in pressure what is the change in kinetic and the total energies so it is recommended to 
uh, save this output of the running verbose into a file. So you can save it as out.log and then give an ampersand simple. That means uh, uh, even if you close this terminal, the job will continue. If you don't give this ampersand or if you don't give this greater than simple out.log and if you close this terminal, the job will get uh, stopped. So anyway, I'm not giving those files and ampersand right now because I want to show you the display how it comes. So I'm just going to run. Uh, let me keep it two because already uh, browsers are running. So I'll just give two scores and I just define my con file. That's it because I have already defined what should be my input, output, everything in that script. Just enter. So it is reading and now it is going through and it will tell you when it will finish, how much more hours required. So this is how uh, the calculation uh, process goes in NAMD. Now, if you want to avoid this, of course, you can directly write it to a uh, file that I told you out dot uh, log. Uh, then you can so you can see here it is showing 0.47 nanoseconds per day. I'm, I'm running in an i5 machine, so uh, I cannot expect anything much more than that. And uh, it is showing that 0 0.078 seconds per step. It's going to take some time. So benchmarking time will be given. Of course, if a job stops or crashes, you can restart that. That all details will go much more deeper later, but I just wanted to give you a, a gist about how NAMD runs. Now I can I can I can kill this job uh, just giving Control C. I just kill the job, right? So uh, this is about uh, uh, NAMD. I'll uh, just clear this. Now let's go to the important part of today's session that is uh, VMD. Now coming to VMD, I, I wanted to tell you two parts. One is uh, using it through the GUI and other is uh, through the command line. Let me first show you how to execute uh, um, a script. I told you, you know, uh, there will be TCL script. So uh, my VMD is installed under applications folder, VMD contents, Mac, Mac OS. And then, so don't worry about all these things when you're going for Linux or even for uh, Windows, in your command line, you might be just typing VMD. That's enough. Most of the time there will be icon that is for your GUI. Uh, opening the GUI also you can execute the script, but I recommend this one because uh, if you have any errors or anything, you can uh, uh, get get to know. And when you're opening your uh, uh, VMD, you might be opening from a different folder. The working directory might be different. So write permission issues, read permission issues, all will be there. So to avoid all those confusion, wherever you want to run your file and where is your script, where is your input file, output file, you can just execute that, whatever it is. So here, what I'm given is a command, which because of my Mac, I have to give this command. Otherwise for you, it is just VMD. So don't get confused. And then you're giving a minus disp dev. Uh, disp dev means uh, after that you give text. Text means don't open any GUI. I want to execute, run it through text command line, nothing more in GUI. If I give here uh, win, win or uh, window, then it will open up the GUI also. Then I'm giving minus C, that means uh, file. I wanted to execute this. So this again, I have downloaded from the VMD website. So I'm saying that I want to mutate a, a residue. That's what I'm going to do. I just enter. So for you, it will be just VMD space minus disk dev space text space minus E space, whatever script that you're bringing in dot TCL. In uh, Linux, I came to know that you have to install TCL as such. Uh, it is again a shell uh, scripting uh, based uh, uh, environment. I, I, I'm not, I don't know how to tell you the right terminology, but you have to install TCL as such, then only the script will work. Anyway, so just enter. Now it has run and it is, uh, it will ask you. So there will be commands to come up and all. It will ask you questions based upon the script. Otherwise, there won't be any question. It will just uh, get the output. So there are merging uh, scripts and many more other scripts we will be using in our future sessions. You will get to know much more in detail. Now, in order to open um, um, uh, VMD, I can again uh, similarly give another command, uh, the same command without dev text and all. I just gave it. So VMD has opened. So let us do something uh, uh, quickly, something on VMD, uh, just to uh, show you how things are taken care. As I told you, I'm going to load uh, STP here. So uh, let me uh, make some space because you need some space for other window. 
So uh, you, you can load locally from by going to file new and browse and load or uh, uh, many file formats are supported even Gromax files are also supported. But here I'm going to load it directly from internet uh, from RCSB database. So I can go to extensions uh, data and I'm saying PDB uh, database query and here when you're coming here here you have a, a code that can be given so you need to know what is the code and all so I'm just giving one STP so uh, I already know that is the code which I showed you the PDB and here I can say either to download it to a local PDB file or load it into the new molecule in VMD so I want that so I just click on to load into new molecule and you can see it is being loaded I know you are not able to see probably so let me close this now I am going to show you how the representation is being done for that I'll go to graphics and then say representations okay let me pull this out to a new window so this is called the representations so below you can see line name all right all means all parts of all atoms of your uh, protein so let me do some changes I wanted to look this like uh, a ribbon so let me change it to uh, drawing method as uh, ribbons and coloring method I'm going to say secondary structure okay now you can see the colors have changed and now I want to make some changes I'm going to say that I don't want all to be in ribbon because I have biotin there so I wanted to show biotin also in different way so I'm asking chain A only to be in ribbon so I said chain A so now chain A will be stored in ribbon here you have a button called create representation so it will create a new representation copy and create a new representation so that your chain is not now disturbed now I as I told you, you need to know the keywords which I already showed you in my uh, pre, uh, few minutes back so I'm saying BTN okay and I'm asking BTN should be in bones bonds uh, not all so I didn't press enter that's why it is showing like that so I have to press uh, res name BTN so it's better that you make the changes in the options below and then give the name and then enter so now you can see my co-crystal ligand biotin is being converted to the bond now I want to change the color I can change the color to element mode so here the carbons are being in cyan color uh, and oxygens in anyway a red color and nitrogens in uh, blue color the standard element coding and if you want to, to look at uh, different like charges no charges and if you want to make some other changes so when you when you go to uh, come uh, like ligands it's mostly um, uh, element is the best and if you want to reduce the bond uh, radius you can do that and resolution everything you can raise now uh, let's do something more so I'm, I'm again creating uh, uh, from the new ribbon I'm creating a new wrap and I'm saying that uh, I want it an element and I will say bond and I'm going to write here protein within 5 Armstrong with the rest name BTN oh, I think I did I made a mistake uh, so I said protein within 5 of rest name uh, BTN and enter now what you see here is Okay, let me make a slight difference in the BTN I will color them in a different way so and now its background is black so you are not able to see properly so let me do a little bit more so go to graphics and then say colors then you get a window like this go to display background and make it white so now it will be much more visible to you great this looks very nice so you can see that whatever the uh, atoms or the small small residues that you see surrounding to the ligand that is the amino acid which is close to your ligand within 5 Armstrong that is why I said protein within 5 of biotin right now if you want to label them that is also again easy so you can go to graphics uh, label just to identify which are they but in order to label it on your 
display you have to go to uh, mouse click on a label atoms and then go to mouse and say pick now if I pick this it should label it just a minute let me see what is the label uh, color so that probably the color is not correct yeah labels okay atoms I'll make it black so that you can see them okay and text size a bit larger to see them properly and the thickness and let me now go back to label them again so atoms I just pick them up so you can see here uh, TRP so let me increase the yeah you can see now better so you have to give the coloring and all you have to do as I shown you and if you want to click this and get the atom so it use in 110 and then if this is the one again oxygen uh, this one uh, tyrosine 43 so you, you can make pretty nice pictures uh, for your publications and you can render them uh, for a high resolution pictures also so uh, this this is the same why I wanted to show you this representation basically when you're going to split a, a PDB uh, to a two different like you want to split your uh, uh, ligand separately or chain specific chain separately or specific set of residues separately this is the same way you are going to do for example that, that is what we are going to do from our next uh, session. Right to click button, uh, right button click and say save coordinates. I'm going to use the same thing what I did here, right? Even though representation was looking nice, here I'm going to say res name btn. That means only the ligand will be saved as pdb. And if I press enter, now it will ask to save. So it will save only the btn. Now, if I if I go here in the selected atoms and say chain A and press enter, only the chain A without biotin, without water molecules, nothing it will be displayed. I mean saved. So that is the advantage. So wherever you are using the atom selection for representation as well as for saving the atom, they both are same. Now. As I told you, if you wanted to um, plugins are all coming under extensions and uh, uh, we will be using uh, in our next session how to add solvation box how to generate the topology for these files how to merge them all those things will be taken care in the next session so uh, this is how uh, this is all about uh, this particular session i just gave you an understanding about how to work on vmd how an amd looks like uh, and the very important part of uh, representation because atom selection is very very important I have shown you the selection and I, you saw that I made a mistake of just not giving off and it did not work. So keep um, that uh, uh, keywords and the functions uh, print out with you so it will be very much handy uh, to write this selected uh, atoms and you can play around with the coloring methods and many more and you can save them. And uh, one, uh, when I'm showing you the results of the docking and other things of course the frames and animations and even you can save the movie everything can be done uh, within uh, the VMD okay so that's all uh, from me for today and uh, uh, we'll catch you up in the next session hope hopefully uh, the next session will come soon uh, and uh, if there are some questions I will be able to address I can see some questions coming up so one of the question is I want to install it in Windows I have watched so many videos but I can able to find out exact procedure can you please help me just as I told you after installation ensure that uh, any command line based softwares when you're installing or extracting ensure that none of the folders have a space you can give underscore none of the file names should have space it should be underscore so please keep that in mind very very important so if you're installing it in program file there's a space between program and files it will be difficult for you to manage and defining the path and also put it in somewhere where you don't have any space anyway so probably C drive make a, a folder called NAMD and then put it there or VMD and put it there 
so that is one and second uh, um, uh, in windows it's straightforward installation for vmd anyway nmd it's as i told you, it's like an extraction like autodoc and autodoc grid uh, i mean auto grid so you have to go to command line and then uh, go to that path or define the path which i showed you in my command line because i was i was giving a lengthy command because I, I have to call it from this different folder um yes i will be giving you uh, as i told you there will be five uh, four more sessions there so i'll be giving you step by step how to prepare the data uh, what other uh, um, force fields to be uh, considered all those things it will be otherwise super lengthy video this itself it's already 45 minutes so yeah and also plotting of rmsd rmsf uh, hydrogen bonds and many more we will be doing in coming uh, sessions so thank you so much i hope uh, you will be playing around with uh, vmd now and uh, download the files and keep things ready uh, for the next sessions to run through so uh, thank you all and see you in our next session then bye for now